Hello, it's Dan here at Torah Magic, and if you're looking to add more drama, excitement, and danger to your shows, then look no further than the Torah Sword in Neck, which comes with this elegant collar, this lovely red scabbard, and this gleaming silver sword. This is a great effect for adding lots of gasps to your show, and is a real reputation maker. Let's have a look at the Sword in Neck in action. Now before we start, I was just wondering, has there been any post for me today? No. Oh, I'm waiting on my knighthood for services to magic. Yeah. If you're familiar with the idea of a knighthood, you'll know that in days of old, a king or queen would knight a brave prince of the realm with the ceremonial sword. A little like this. And then they would become a true knight. But what you may not know is there's also a second ceremony which happens in secret behind closed curtains, which uses the sword and this collar of courage. Now, if you could hold on to the collar for me, let's see what happens when we push the sword through. Through it goes and it passes right through the middle. Nothing impressive there on its own, but what if there was something in the middle, perhaps a neck? Could I borrow your neck? Are you feeling brave? <laughs> if you can wear the collar of courage, let's see. This is a test to see if the knight is truly brave and fearless, and if they are, he will come to no harm at the point of a sword. Right, here we go. So I'm shaking a bit, this is a tense moment. I've only done this once before, and it didn't go well. Okay, here we go. Bit of resistance. <laughs> All the way through the neck. How are you feeling? Speechless, speechless. Let's see. We'll withdraw the sword and see if our brave knight has come to any harm, or if he is truly fearless and full of courage. Remove the collar. Any damage? Not a mark. So truly you are a brave knight, and that is just one possible presentation for the sword in neck. There are many, many different ways that you can use the sword in neck in your shows, simply by changing the theme. This would work well in a pirate show, any story about knights, ninjas, samurais, or you could perform it to music, or even for comedy, because of course it looks like the trick has gone wrong, but then everything is fine in the end. Have a look for the Torah sword in neck to help keep your act looking sharp.